I love this. Uh, she's here to show us how to make mini wraps that are perfect to cover up for spring. Look, That's not what I'm excited about. I mean, she's an extreme knitter, which I want to get to the bottom of, and she's the creator of It's a Yummy. Welcome, yeah. Jessica Marowitz. <laughs> Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. So cool. Thank you. I've, Thank you. I've heard of like the extreme game, the X Games. This is just like that. Extreme knitting. It's yeah, true. Yeah, extreme knitting. Sort of. <laughs> what is it, and why did you make a business out of it? Well, extreme knitting is knitting with oversized yarn and extremely large needles. And you can see the yarn. Okay. It's oversized. Oversized. Okay. For sure. sure. And the needles oh my are goodness. Much, much larger. Okay. It's like Alice needles. in Wonderland why did, knitting. Yes. Why the, a business, though? Why? Well, I wanted to make a throw for my family room. And I couldn't find the type of yarn that I wanted to knit with. A lot of oversized throws are made with something called roving. Uh -huh. And you can see. That's beautiful. Yeah. Roving is Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. soft and it's cleaned Cloud. and it's dyed and it's yeah. very nice, but it's not spun. And if it's not spun, it's not going to be durable. Yeah, look. Oh, boy. Right. Yeah. That's not very, spun, it's very not delicate. Fun. Very, okay. very delicate. So, so you created your own yarn. I created my own yarn, my Whoa. yummy yarn. It's your yum, yum, yum. Okay. And not only that, you've created blankets for days. So you finally yes. just made a blanket instead yes. of buying I feel like it's a yes. horse's mane, but it softer, really you know? You just want to. Okay. You know, don't yes. nitpick, Mark. Don't nitpick. So. <laughs> that, that was good. You know what? He always gets a high hat. I don't. Nope. So we have our knitting needles and our yes. yarn. So how do we do this? Let me show you. It's a little complicated. It's actually very easy. It's a great project for an experienced knitter as well as a novice knitter. It's great for an experienced knitter because it's knitting with larger needles and larger yarn. So it's something really different, mm -hmm. something me, you may not be used to. <coughs> and then mm. also for the novice knitter, it's, the yarn is super forgiving. It's oh. very easy to work with. Mm. And it goes very quickly. Okay. Because a lot of knitters are either a process knitter uh -huh. or they are a, oh, let me show you. We just made yeah, a slip say, knot. What just happened there? Right. <laughs> <Slip> <laughs> I just did a slip knot. So okay. basically, you're going like this. You're just making a slip knot. And sliding it through. And okay. sliding easy it enough. through. Perfect. Okay. So then you're sliding your needle on. Okay. Perfect. And there you go. And then you're going to start casting on. Okay. That's all is, you do? That's it. Which is okay. the start of knitting. So you're just doing almost the slip knot motion uh -huh. again. You're going right. very slowly and doing it very loosely, very gently. Which is unlike regular knitting, right? Regular knitting's tighter. Well, it's a little more tension. Yeah, yeah. And okay. this isn't. You and can how just many do it. These do we need to do? So for the mini wraps that we're doing today, we're gonna cast on twenty-two. Okay. So we've done three here. We would we do 22 going. more. Okay. And you just keep slipping it down on and this thing. Exactly. Is, are, do they always come No, connected? they can come connected so. or they can come just by themselves, by themselves straight. I've never seen them connected like this. I use connected for projects when we're knitting with something that's a little bit longer. And since we're doing a cast on of 22, oh, wow. which you can see oh, yeah. here. Oh, look at that. Okay. So we're you've done 22 here? We've done 22 loops, mm -hmm. and we've already knitted a couple of rows. But as I was saying before, there's two types of knitters. There's a process knitter, mm -hmm. and there's a project knitter. Okay. A process knitter is somebody who really enjoys the process of knitting. Mm. They love the act. It's very mindful. It's very meditative. There's a lot of health benefits associated with knitting. So people love the process. Sure. A project knitter is somebody who loves what they've created. I, that oh. would be me. Yes, they love to gift to someone sure. else or to themselves. you see the end product and you feel so accomplished. Exactly, now, with, exactly. Is this, is this something that someone who has absolutely no prior experience with knitting or maybe not asking even any comprehension of knitting. Friend. I'm asking for a friend. Yes. Yeah. That they could maybe do this. I'm gonna show <laughs> you I'll how to do it. I'm gonna show yeah. you. I'll have oh, no, you it's knitting. For, friend. For, for, yeah. your friend. for your friend. I sure. will have your friend okay, knitting so you. quickly. <laughs> so what you're doing is you're taking your right hand uh -huh. and your right needle and you're going, there's a little bump right mm -hmm. here. You're going over the bump, through the loop, mm -hmm. under your left needle. And then you're taking your yarn mm -hmm. and you're just draping it okay that's it and then you're catching what you've just draped with your needle and going back through and going through and huh. sliding off that's it and you'll do so it again again you go through okay mm -hmm. the loop you take your yarn you gently drape it okay. that's it you catch what you've just draped and, and then you go you back through 
and you slide right off. It's so, so therapeutic. Far. I could just see it, one. it really is, but that's the Fluffy benefit. Little trees. Yeah, Fluffy little really trees. Is. It yes. really is that. With yeah. this yarn, you could be a process knitter and a project knitter because you will have this done in under an hour. What? Un really? Under an hour. And you see, you just, just keep going. You just keep going until finally and you've gotten it all off of the knitting so then, needle. Right. Mine, mine would look just like, like this. this when I was done. That would just well, be all fine. Oh, that works as well. And then you move on. Okay. So okay. once you have your seven rows done, now we're in the process here of what's called casting off of the needle. Okay. So you can say... That's we're... beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jessica, you. it's gorgeous. Thank you. And it's super I know. soft. I should have make wow. a suit out of this. <laughs> well, could you? I'd love to see him in a and suit. And I like think yeah. this could be your color, too. Perfect. Yes. You're going to be it would in a suit. Look, yes, it might color. as well be a nice yeah. cotton candy pink. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is you come through like this. Same mm -hmm. thing. You're still doing your knitting stitch. Yep. Okay. And you're draping. And then you're pulling through. But the difference oh. is when we have two mm. on our right needle, yeah. we slide our back loop over our front loop. And you can and see it starts now we're are coming off, off the needle. Ah. We do the same thing again. You're draping. You're coming through. You're sliding Slide off. So this is merino wool. This is really this is nice 100 wool. This is percent merino wool. So I imagine you're going to dry clean this. Yes. Because uh, mm. if you wash yes. it, it'll be this big. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't be extreme knitting anymore. No. Wow. Extremely small Extremely knitting Extremely small. It yes, be. it would be this the opposite amazing. end. Beautiful. And is that the finished product right there? So then what you do, once you've totally yep. casted yourself off the needle, you can see that we have added tassels oh, to oh, the end beautiful. of this. And I'm going to show you how to make a tassel that you would put on. Oh. So here's your tassel, and I took a suede cord. Mm -hmm. okay. I cut it eight inches. I took five pieces of yarn, cut it mm -hmm. seven inches. I'm just going like this. Oh, I could definitely Holy make man. a tassel. You I could be, be your tassel you maker. You will be my tassel maker. We can make <laughs> wow. this together. Yeah. It'll be our joint and I'll say, project. Look what I made. Yes. That's really just the tassel. So that's simple enough. And yes. then you just tie you it just in the bottom. Tie it up, and then you take your tassel once you've tied it. And just tie it on. And to you the just thing. tie it on to the end. Well, these are so beautiful, oh, Jessica. Oh, thank you. And it's what gorgeous. you can do, you can knit it yourself, uh -huh. so you've created your own project, or you can get a finished knitted uh -huh. yummy mini wrap, and then you can embellish it and make it yourself. All kinds of things. And you can make, you can put flowers and suede and crystals. They're all so beautiful. And however you would like to do it. By the it. way, Thank full you, instructions. Jessica. I know we oh, went through this a little bit quickly. If you'd like to get the full instructions for Jessica's yummy mini wraps, uh, go to our website, hallmarkchannel.com, and a more detailed tutorial by dropping by our Facebook page. Thank beautiful. you so much. Thank you.